Hey everybody, I'm Jackie and this is Journey with Jackie. Thank you so much for coming back and watching one of my videos. I appreciate it. And if you are new and watching me for the very first time, welcome. I appreciate it. So in this video, here's what I'm going to do. In last week's video, I held up some beautiful items that I got in New York City at Barney's and some of you said they look great, but we wish you had tried them on and you're absolutely right. I did them no justice by holding them up. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to, for this week, share with you how I'm going to initially wear these outfits and some of them actually I'm going to wear this week. And then also to finish the week, I went in my closet as well, found things that I have not worn for the season and put combinations together so I can definitely include those. Anyway, let's quickly get into the lookbook. So here's the first one. The first one is what I'm going to have as an option as my business casual. This is a um, Etro skirt that I've had for many years. I love this skirt. So I'm going to pair it with a pair of boots and then more of an unstructured loose uh, black sweater with the white peeking through at the top. And so I thought this would def definitely give me a really nice option um, to be comfortable and give me more of a business casual look and more me. So, and then you, once again, if you feel good about what you have on your light and your smile will definitely show through. So I definitely believe in feeling what you're dressed appropriately, but dress what makes you happy. So that's just my thing. And so that's look one. Now here's my alternate outfit for business casual. Um, as you can see from this tag, I have not even taken it off. So I have not worn this and I, I got this from TJ Maxx last year. So here's an, an option that I'm going to consider for um, another business casual. So as you can see, I would just pair it with the over knee, over the knee pair of boots. This is actually one of the outfits from last week. So when I shared, when I just hung it up and I said, oh, this is a black duster that I'll probably wear. It's, they call it a dress, but I'll wear it as a duster. So here's how I plan to wear this. Let me show you what I did first of all though. This actually came with the belt and belt hoops. I immediately, the next day, dropped it off at the cleaners and had them take off the belt hoops because I'm not really a big a fan of, for me personally, of wearing um, belts um, in the back like that and I definitely don't tie them around around my waist so I just took off the belt hoops because I know that would bother me it cost me five dollars and now I feel better about the 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 dress slash duster so anyway so here's how I'm going to wear it uh, I have it long flowing and open from the bottom I paired it with a burgundy pair of those uh, leather like stretchy pants that you can find anywhere and um, and then just a long black tank top. And then I can wear these with, you know, over the knee boots. I can wear them with ankle boots. Um, it really doesn't matter. On to the next one. Okay, so the next outfit is, yes, it's black again, but you guys know I did recently buy this dress. So I call it a, a swing style. Uh, you know, some of us still call it a baby doll dress, but so, Right now, I'm wearing it with uh, leggings underneath, um, and I plan to wear it. Um, I so this time I have it on with the black stretchy leather-like leggings, and then I also plan to wear it with uh, um, ankle jeans um, over the next week. And then going into the spring, I can just wear it as a dress and not wear um, any bottom. So. So that is the um, the one look. So and, and I'm I'm loving it. I, I absolutely love this look. It's very comfortable for me, and I'm looking forward to having this and wearing this for a very long time. So, uh, oh, okay, let's go to another one. Okay. This one is when I said to you guys, when I was holding up that dress at the very end and I said it was more of a, a Japanese inspired unstructural, I probably would never be able to, to put it on the same way twice again because it's just so unique on how you figure it all out. So this is that dress. And so I've decided to, um, 
to tie it this way for this time, uh, layering it once again with my same ATM white shirt. And then what I'm gonna do um, when I wear it this week is, I'm actually gonna put a vest on top of it and wear it that way. And this vest um, is by uh, Rick Owens. And so I actually just got this off eBay uh, a couple weeks ago. So I just love this vest. Didn't know what I was gonna wear it with first, but I absolutely love it with this look. And then obviously I'll pair it with some boots. Onward to the last one. And that is this beautiful white dress by Jill Sander that I shared with you guys. So obviously because of the fabric it's a, a really nice sturdy linen and it's short sleeve so obviously I definitely have to save this one for more of the spring and when I do kick it off and wear it in the spring I'll throw it on with some type of light jacket maybe a jean jacket leather jacket and then in the summer then I won't have to wear a jacket at all but I just absolutely love it it's just so beautiful how it flows and how wide it is and the side pockets and the length is just absolutely perfect for me because I would not be wearing it with heels anyway. I would be wearing it with some type of low sandal or low mule. So it's just perfect for me and my height. And um, and that concludes my lookbook, you guys. So let me know what you think if you love them. Um, you know, I'm just excited to go in my closet though, pull these things ahead of time, and I found that it just really takes. The, the the like figuring it all out and the confusion, especially if you're rushing and got up later than you have planned on. It just really takes that kind of like stress off and going in your closet and have something already pulled for you and be in your own stylist. And, but it's you that did it and it's even more gratifying because you are the one that did it and you know it's gonna put a smile on your face and it just makes everything easier. Go grab your shoes, grab your jewelry, grab your coat and you guys know I'm a big coat person so I think I gravitate towards coats and shoes the most but I truly believe that your even if you kept everything simple I truly believe your coat or your jacket really can just be your statement piece as well and I feel that when I put on my coat or my jacket it just completes um, the outfit for me um, as I walk out the door so anyway I hope you guys love the video give me two thumbs up and if you haven't done so do not leave me before you subscribe today I look forward to seeing you guys in a few days I love you very much and I'll see you soon